Hey guys, Adam here with a very quick sim hub tip slash tutorial. So you have two dashboards that you absolutely love. One is iRacing specific and the other is ACC specific. And whenever you switch games, you have to go back into sim hub and relaunch the dashboard that you want to run if you bounce back and forth. But there's a really neat little trick that you can do in sim hub where you only have have to load one dashboard but you'll get the correct version or the correct dashboard of a dashboard it's a very weird it's dashboard inception today that's the best way i can describe it so let's go ahead i'm going to show you what we're going to do and then it'll hopefully make more sense so let's get over to sim hub now what i have done here is i've got a brand new dashboard and i have called this blank dashboard my gsi combo dash it is already set to the 480 by 272 pixels that the GSI Formula Pro Elite or any USB D480 display uses. Um, and the reason for that is for what we're going to do today, any of the dashboards that you want to merge into one parent dashboard, we'll call it, um, must be the same resolution. So in this case, thankfully, all of the GSI dashboards are 480 by 272. And thanks to Sven Schrempel, Sven, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, we have an ACC specific version of the GSI dashboard. It's available in the SimHub resources channel over in the GSI Discord. If you haven't downloaded it already and you are an ACC player racer, um, and you really like the look of the GSI dashboard, go over there, download it, run it. It's beautiful. I used it myself. Um, but what I want to do is I just want to one load one dashboard and then depending on if I switch games or not, I don't have to worry about going back into sim hub to make sure the correct dashboard is loaded. So what we've got here is we've got our blank slate 480 by 272. And what I want to do now is I want to go back to the sim hub main window and you can see I've got a lot of GSI dashboards here, um, but I specifically like the GSI V2. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this dashboard. Let me blow that up so we can see those beautiful colors. There we go. Okay. So what we want to do with this is we want to select everything, but that red RPM screen that I don't like, we're going to highlight them all. We're going to hit control C on our keyboard. Now there's another way you can do this too. You can merge all of these into a widget, but I don't want to do that for personal reasons. And we're going to go over to our GSI combo dash. We're going to create a new layer, this folder in the upper right hand corner. We're going to name this layer GSI I racing. And with this layer selected, we're going to hit control V to paste everything in. So now all of the GSI iRacing dashboard components are nested inside this folder. So what we have to do now is we have to set a visibility toggle for this folder specifically. So we're gonna come over to the right side. We're gonna hit this visible FX binding button and we're gonna type in some simple NCALC. So we're gonna open bracket current game and that's the one you want right there data core plugin dot current game equals single parentheses or single quote mark i racing now when sim hub sees that the current game that i'm running is i racing it will load this version of the gsi dash so we're gonna hide that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another layer and we're gonna name this layer gsi acc nice and simple. So we can go back over to our iRacing dashboard and we're going to close that out. We are going to go over here and we are going to load Sven's GSI 2.4 ACC dashboard. We're going to edit it. And just like we did with the first one, we're going to grab everything that we want. Control C. Go back over here to our GSI combo tab. We're going to make sure you click on the ACC layer that that is highlighted. If the iRacing layer is highlighted, it will paste all of this into that folder. And we don't want to do that. We want to hit control V on the ACC layer. So now what we're going to do for this one is we're going to set a visibility function. Well, if so you can skip this step. If you're only running iRacing and you're only running ACC, we can you can skip this step. 
So we can say nothing for here. So we can just slide the iRacing version onto the bottom and the ACC will display by default and the iRacing will then be appear on top of it if the game that's loaded is iRacing. But if you don't want to do that um, and you want to keep things a little cleaner, just simply check this. Let us set a visibility binding for this compute value. And we're going to do the same thing. Current game. Actually, we're going to do this. Current game does not equal iRacing. I like does not equal. That's a, it's a much funner statement for me. And there we go. We're going to toggle the visibility off. So now if the game isn't iRacing, it's going to display the ACC dash. You could always say if current game equals is that of course the competizione. And and you can do these these same steps if you have multiple um, real car dashboards, we'll call them. So let's say you've got a Porsche and a Lambo and a Dallara dash. And every time you switch through, now with this, all I have to do is I just have to launch launch my GSI combo dashboard. So we're going to close this tab. We're going to click file and save on my GSI combo. And now if I go to my GSI combo and I hit start on USB D480, that's the display that is going to run on my external di digital display unit. And depending on what game I load, I no longer have to come back here. And so if you wanted to follow those same steps with multiple cars, what you could do then is have it, you know, a visibility function for win car equals Lamborghini Huracan GT3 Evo, win car equals X and Y and Z, and every car in iRacing or in ACC, you can have all of those nested into one main dashboard. And then when you load that specific car, you will get the correct dashboard. The, the best real world example I can give of this without having to build it out. Um, I did post one in the GSI Discord months ago that does switch between all of the cars and iRacing. I've got a lot of dashboards nested in there. It's buried somewhere. If you can find it, it's a hot mess. I would ignore it. But NC Ferrum's ACC CDS dash pack. Um, for i mean it's acc specific it does not work in iRacing but he's got everything there with some really cool plugins and that loads the car specific dashboard depending on what car you have loaded in acc and chances are if you're an acc fan you probably already know what that is so you've probably already got it um but this will work then for multiple games, multiple cars. You can just nest and you can nest within nests. I mean, it's crazy how detailed and complicated you can make things. But for today, we're going to just go very simple. And there you go. So now we've created one GSI combo dash that will load the ACC version courtesy of Sven or the iRacing version that I had created. Um, with by simply loading the one GSI combo dash. So that's it. That's all I've got. I know I kind of rambled a bit today and I apologize. I'm very short on time and I'm trying desperately to get these videos out. You guys have all sent me some really great ideas for videos that I want to sit down and film. I just need to find the time and hopefully I will get around to it. So if I didn't explain something clear enough, please post a comment down in the description below or in the, the com in the comments below i need coffee sorry and i will do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible if this video did help uh please give it a thumbs up so that the youtube algorithm will help this video or my sim hub tutorials find more people with sim hub questions so that's all i've got for today i'm gonna stop rambling thanks for hanging out with me hopefully you learned something and uh, we will see you next time